person, the family of the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Nandikano, has urged President Muhammad Buhari to heed the plates by Igbo leaders and release their son. A group under the aegis of highly respected Igbo great, led by the First Republic Parliamentarian and Minister of Aviation, Mbazulike Amechi, had visited Buhari on Friday and demanded the release of the IPOP leader, Nandi Kano. Reacting, Kano's younger brother, Prince Emmanuel Kano, said that the president should consider the request by the eminent Igbo leaders or elders as a mark of respect for the Igbo nation. He said that one of the ways to kickstart the process of national healing is the unconditional release of Kano, Vanguard reports. Prince Emmanuel expressed hope that Buhari would give urgent attention to the views of the Igbo headers. Adding his voice, Kano's first cousin, Mr. Chi Nedu Ofo, urged the president not to throw away the passionate appeal by the elders who represent the entire Igbo race. Ofo said that the immediate and unconditional release of Nandi Kano had become necessary because of his deteriorating health. He raised fresh concern over Kano's health and safety following the alarm by Kano's lawyers on Thursday that he was subjected to harsh, degrading, and inhuman conditions in detention. Ofar said that Kano should not be allowed to die in detention or be incarcerated warning that Nigeria might not be able to contain the aftermath of any such eventualities. I appeal to the federal government to listen to the voice of wisdom and allow my cousin Kano to go home so he can attend to his failing health. Nigeria may not survive the fallout of anything under untoward happening to my cousin, so why not save the country such needless pains? He said, Okay, all right, all right, stop your anti trade because no one man can stop Nigeria from existing, whether dead or alive. At the end, Nigerian must break so that Boko Haram and bandits can rule their bookie over their place. Bunch of noisemakers. Last time you told us that Anambra's election will not hold unless Kano release or conditionally. But to our surprise, election was done and dusted. What kind of stupidity is this? Hmm. Such a statement from the Marzi to the federal government is a, a fallacy. And whatever happens to him, Nigeria would continue to exist along with the good people. Okay, these are reactions from Nigerians as they are still talking. What happened in the movie called Beast of No Nation would be more preferable than what will happen to Nigeria. If anything happens to our leader, it is not an online threat, but what will happen? <laughs> and Namdekano is not even has not even come out or will come out soon safe. I wonder why IPOP have not gone and bring him out from DSS custody. So you people want just just want to be making him out on Facebook every time they make posts. <laughs> he made that sound. Abiola died, nothing happened. Abacha died, nothing happened. Many more inflation Nigerians died and nothing happened. Therefore, if Navikano dies, one way or the other nothing i mean absolutely nothing will happen when kano was misbehaving and inciting his hyper beasts and unknown gunmen to kill and mean innocent nigerians where were these people talking now will kano restore the lives of those who had died and property destroyed as a result of reckless utterances <laughs> Someone just dropped that. I got so many reactions that replied this. Someone said those people killed at Lekki Gate was incited by Nandikanu Abi. Okay. And you don't remember Mohammed Youssef 10 years down the line. How far? 
and you think Mazin Nandekano is all those people you mentioned, somebody that has influence, somebody that has influence home and abroad, why would not know they like to think self? After Anambra elections, you still they hear anything about unknown government, but Una say na ipo they do up. Honestly, this guy just made a point. Yeah, you know before Anambra election, there these unknown gunmen every minute. After the election, no unknown gunmen again, and this will not make you to believe that some persons are just the sponsoring this unknown gunmen and using it to stay ipop. They are using it to indict IPOP that they are the ones sponsoring it. These unknown gunmen, <laughs> now political stuff. Oh, now, I just like this statement. It said, after an Anambra election, you still didn't hear anything about unknown gunmen, but on a Sena IPOP, you know, they do them. Mad people, he said. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians, and they are still talking. Someone said, I pop are citizens of Nigeria, and they have rights to agitate whatsoever. But no reasonable government will allow killings and destruction of property in its territory. The 93 years old man that went to beg Buari on the behalf of Nandekano could not conscience him when he was instructing, instigating, and inciting violence. Now the canon will not be released or conditionally, but the law will say it all. Hmm. I think this is not what we needed now because the more you keep on holding on this, the more the wahala they day. The men that went to those to, uh, to Aso, Aso Villa, the Igbo elders that went to Aso Villa, they are not fools. These people, they have wisdom. They know what they did, and they know what they are doing. So anybody we, that we advise President Muhammad Wari not to hit to their peace, to their place, means that they are hmm, putting salt into injury. And I don't think this is going to help the nation. It's not going to help us. I think the best thing, let's let peace reign. Understand? Let peace reign. You know, some persons here who have commit have commented. Yeah, some persons are saying those uh, people who who now they cannot have killed in the southeast. People are dying every now and then in the northern part of this country by Fulani headers, by bandits, by Boko Haram members. But these people will still come back tomorrow that they have laid down their you know, their weapons, and they are being re reintegrated re back to the society. So what's up? He's not a terrorist. He's a, a, free, a freedom fighter. So we, we just have to think first and, and, and let peace reign. The country is bleeding. You understand? So guys, what's your take on signing this? I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for always stopping by. I do really appreciate. Bye for now.